Okay, thanks for being in our um, multidimensional city of New York. All right. Uh, the thing I want to ask about New York in these times of change is since it's sort of a world capital, does it exist in a greater frequency on many levels? Absolutely. More? All of your planet exists on different levels. There is a particular level just above yours, so to speak, dimensionally speaking, you may euphemistically refer to as the Twilight Zone. It is a template level. No people inhabit it, but all the structures are there. You all use it to plan out what you want to do in physical reality. It's like a large playground that many of you go to when you're sleeping and play out certain scenarios in the very same city surroundings to decide what it is you will do in the actual physical reality. So will New York maintain itself as a world capital in the years to come, or will there other, be other places that will kind of come to the forefront? There will be other places, but New York will not subside in that sense. It will also remain, in that sense, a spot of high energy. Will it be a key factor in the coming of contact? It will. It will. It Although much of the initial contacts may take place outside the city first. Can you just say something about the way people live here? That um, is, is it an evolution of culture or is it that de-evolution? It is a practicing of the coming together of diversification. It is the honoring of the idea that through the honoring of diversity, you create true unity. You follow me? Yes, in that way it's an evolution. Absolutely. Thank you very much for visiting us here. It is our pleasure to receive the vibration of your location. Thank you.